Yay! Hi guys, praise Jesus, praise him so much. Yeah, you are most welcome on my YouTube channel. I'm super, super, super excited. I'm actually so excited. Yeah, this is actually, it's one of my first videos. I think I ever made one sit down video and this is my second video. My second sit down video. I'm super excited. It's an amazing video. Actually, it's my very first video to host, some, to host someone on my channel. I feel so much happy. Yeah. So, my name is Kemia Kevin and my channel is the Kemia. Yeah. I'll... So, guys, consider subscribing, like, and share. Yeah. We're on road 1000. We want to be more tired this year. Yeah, so consider subscribing, like, share, and comment what you think about. I know you're gonna like this video because this is my very first time to talk about this. Yeah, and I'm super super excited to talk about love and relationship in Cairo, Egypt. Yeah, so many girls, so many even men, I think they do. They do complain about love in Cairo, so we want to talk about it with my visitor. I have a visitor, if you don't know, I have a visitor. I posted someone on my channel. Yeah, he's going to be addressing to us what he thinks about love in Cairo. Yeah, so right now, let me invite him for you. Let's get to know what love in Cairo because so many people out there they are complaining so many girls so many ladies if you're in Cairo you know this this is an issue and even if you're not in Cairo but you're willing to relocate or to come to Cairo oh my god you need to watch this video this is your video don't you don't miss it don't just risk it and miss this video it's an amazing video it's so educative actually he's gonna let us know what he thinks Things are like the way they are here in Cairo about relationships. So just keep watching. Yeah, let me invite you. So guys, here you go. You are most welcome, sir. You're most All welcome right, on my right. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for hosting me on this yeah. YouTube channel. Um, I'm just glad to take part to participate to have something to say about this topic this challenging issue of love affair or relationships in Egypt so we're going to be talking about a few things we are going to know which people are involved in this uh, general term love affair in Egypt yeah. um, how do they find it yeah. what challenges they face how yeah. they overcome it and what impact they what do they solve of these challenges and mean like uh, maybe how how what's life after how do they find life again maybe someone has got exactly what he or she wanted how do you uh, what come next or if somebody has been frustrated disappointed has suffered injuries instead of the those uh, fancy stuff he was he or she was expecting how does that person what come next what he or she do or what impact does it create on the person okay so so guys as you know here in Cairo so many it's mostly on ladies that's maybe that's what I should say because I'm a lady maybe I know that part right? it's, 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 it's also in there. it may too yes. but ladies here so much they cry a lot men here are not like they they're not real men they don't take their responsibilities as Men. No. I, I always hear that. Maybe yeah, I've never been in that before, but I've seen so many people, some friends, and I've met so many people with the same complaint. Okay. Um, maybe the, you may be right uh, in somewhere because something somewhere is not correct, it's not right. It's a lot of challenges are coming because of. Two people who are completely in different caliber meeting up to do something that is not right at that specific time. Okay, so as you said, so if I if I may ask, who are those individuals that you think are involved in that? Now, um, when you look at the population of the foreigners here in Egypt, mm -hmm. um, we have um, ladies and gentlemen. 
majority majority of the ladies mm. are coming here with a target of working sure. and um, a few of them actually come for schooling on some higher institutions like universities and others here in Cairo or in Egypt mm. but majority of the ladies are coming specifically for work oh, sure. and uh, they spend much of their time at work yeah. Now, when you look at the side of the gentlemen, uh, majority of them, I say majority, not all, a few of them come to work, but majority of them come for school. They come to study <laughs> and they spend much of their, uh, time, in their time in school. Yeah. So we are finding two people completely spending time at mm. completely far different things they don't really have anything in common mm, mm, mm. okay so when they come here everybody has an interest and mind you mm. the their interests are within a limited time frame nobody's mm. coming here to stay for life nobody's mm. coming here to stay for long they have a specific period of time. They mm. have goals and they have targets. Sure. Now, once they have goals and targets, mm. they take much of their time focusing, chasing their goals. Mm. And they don't have enough time to focus on love issues, love affairs. So, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right? They don't have enough time to focus on love affairs, right? Right. But they end up doing that. Well, every natural human being, not only human beings, but every natural creation of God, at uh, a certain time, A or B, they end up getting attracted to, okay. to others of opposite sex. And uh, in this situation, they can't resist what their body demands is. Okay, okay. But meanwhile, they are, they are yielding <laughs> to the demands of the body, uh -huh. but mentally, it's not true. They uh, just they just they just specifically call it lust, but they don't have that deeper interest to pursue love because it's not part of their interest or their so, reasons for coming to Egypt. Mm -hmm. So what we may think is the problem is with ladies or with men. Because listen, with ladies, almost the big percentage of ladies, if they, once they get pregnant or if they give birth, these men. Here in Cairo, uh -uh. my sisters, you can. <laughs> okay, about, I mean, the, about like, the care, uh, I, I believe it's, it's what you want yeah, to ask. Yeah, it's the question because now, like, you, now, men here, they now totally you want, have no. Like, you want a student who is totally depending on allowance. Uh -huh. The allowance is well calculated to support that student to pursue <laughs> academics and not to carry out family responsibilities. You believe and you expect that person. To channel the allowances from from doing the academic requirements to taking care of a family, but a mother and a and a baby or unborn baby, that is not realistic. It's not really possible. And mind you, another point is when majority of these ladies when they come in here, they are not really interested also in having deep relationships. Really? They just find themselves entangled somewhere, somehow, as in their natural human beings in a love affair. That's strange. But that is not really true that they are really chasing about love. But I, 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 I found so many of them complaining about this, like almost the biggest percentage of girls here. Mm -hmm. They do complain of, on that issue. So, should we blame men or should we blame women? Because as a man, what I... What I believe, because I'm an African, because according to my culture, I know a man is always a man. A man has to take a responsibility, his responsibility as right. a man. Even if you're a student okay. and this lady is working, but you have to be a man. Okay, you, you, have, a dad. you have to be a man, you have to be a, you, you a dad now, but this wasn't one of your targets, your interest to pursue right, right, right when you are here. You were just oh somewhere, goodness. somehow, cooked so up by some feelings and you fell for someone. <laughs> but the reality is that you didn't have a deeper interest into those responsibilities. So, hope goes, you can hear this. Now. <laughs> uh -uh, you can hear this. <laughs> let, let me finish this. And now, another, another view is, uh -huh. um, even if a man would like to take 
full responsibility and mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm. his sources of income are limited. Now, he is, he is expected to take care of a person who has been earning, if we talk about the <laughs> Ugandan currency, is in millions, and this one is receiving allowance that cannot even reach 10,000 of Ugandan money. So he has, he, has, um, he has cut down his expenditures just to live on. Now he's supposed to live on with another person carrying a pregnancy or carrying another baby. So, and remember, this person has been earning in millions. His life exp expenses, life expenditures has actually shoot up to the point that your allowance can be shoot in one day. But let me by, tell you, by this, tomorrow, we have to go back this. to the bank and withdraw another allowance, which will be the, for the next month until you wait for next month to come. You may not access that money, which means that this um, man, even if he is like expecting it, is like expecting a ripe mango on a sibling. <laughs> This is a sibling, okay, yeah. just raising, you just water the, for, uh, uh, some uh -huh. little water for it to grow uh -huh. and for you as expecting to harvest mangoes. Mm -hmm. This is not possible. He just gave you a small shade to rest for, you, for, for a while. <laughs> oh for my life, goodness! Life. This is so crazy! Right. Okay, okay. for that reason I may say maybe you're quite right because it's true, most men here, most men here, they make less money than women. That's true. That's the fact. Right. I, and if someone, actually, if you're in love, talk about that if you're in a good, sorry, if you, wait, wait. If you're in a good, sorry, if you're in a good relationship with someone, like, you need to understand each other. Like, I think even these ladies, because according to how I hear, how some, some girls or ladies, how they talk about this issue, what hurts them most is this, the point I'm going to utter right now. But let's listen to this point. Mm -hmm. What hurts the most is a man staying at home and be a babysitter of the baby and the lady goes to work. Well, and once you she short. lives let me like this... Short. Even I said we have, among the gentlemen, you have two categories. Uh -huh. Majority of them are students, but a few, a small percentage of them are came here to work, of course. Mm -hmm. But if you look at their jobs, the jobs that are available here for men, pay really an annoying salary very 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 small to the point that if you put on some i mean taking care of another person mm -hmm. you may end up just living but reserving nothing to save remember you came here to work and you saved because the situation back wasn't really good so you ran here for some little green pasture for a short time so that you can save and have something like a maybe a capital and you go start life again now if you start using that money to take care of someone you are most likely to live here with completely empty hands. Oh so this is the two categories of men we have here. A few of them are students living on allowance, it's true. and others who are working are earning far less yeah. than a half of the lady. Oh, so the true. lady earning twice the man's, man's um, salary Sorry, is expecting yeah. to completely depend on the other small salary. Okay. Remember, both of them have the same interest. They uh, came to work and they get some little money okay. to go and start up a new life back home. Okay, I've not finished my point. Mm -hmm. The point that hurts girls, because I'm a girl's voice right now, mm -hmm. the point that hurts girls most here in Cairo yeah, is that they, some of them, they're okay with giving you money because girls they do give you money you guys they do that <laughs> they do that and they they sure I, I don't know whether you're sure or I not i'm not very sure about that but what hurts them most is a girl can go and work and she comes back she takes care of the husband and the kids or kid and then after she leaves she leaves the house for work this man will spend the whole 26 days with other ladies in the house. Yes, she's the one paying rent. She takes care of the husband. She takes care of the child. Can you imagine? <laughs> this, this, is, this is not fair. This is not fair for ladies here. African ladies. I'm talking about African ladies. Uh, sorry. If you had not known what you are talking about, you are talking about African black ladies. This is not with Egyptians. Indeed, I, with Egyptians, indeed, I got we don't know. I got your point. But yeah. remember, a man... Even if he's earning zero, mm -hmm. he remains a man. Mm -hmm. And in the in the normal settings, it's a man to go for work, mm -hmm. not a woman to go for work. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if we find ourselves these things have changed, mm -hmm. a man will always need to wherever he move around to find his wife or his flower. We always call them flowers mm -hmm. at home. So 
whenever he comes back, I know he has been in his friends out there, he has been doing a little thing, stuff out going to going for football, whatever, and he, he finds an empty house. He realizes something's really not right. Remember, you activated him by staying with him. So if you like someone is not here, you will find a solution there and then. Let me ask you this. Because <laughs> this, this was so funny when you said he's used with being with someone at home. So it means you get, you should, and I wonder why men, not only here in Cairo, but even back at home, because I'll talk about Uganda because it's the only country that I know. People, and I actually I think it's not only in Uganda, but men, most men, they think we ladies, we don't have feelings. They are free to do whatever they want, but they feel like, we, like, how can you say that because you're used with having someone in the house and now you're the one that told her, most men, they are the one that tell those ladies to go and work because they have no money to take care of the kids and the family. So oh, yeah. they end up sending them to work. So now, and it's not like, that you bring only one girl in the house. Now two. You end up like bringing like up it's ten not, girls not, in a month. Okay. Oh my god. That's that's one of the points. But another one is these ladies are and in effect when you hear about what they call gender imbalance, mm -hmm. it is evident here whereby mm -hmm. you find a very little number of boy, of gentlemen on a thousands of ladies. <laughs> Who are running all oh over goodness. the streets? Oh so this guy is having a thousand options around, as in you've gone to work. So <gasps> having a, a lot of thousands is putting through so many temptations as he is at home alone, and those temptations, those dollars of if maybe as you mentioned, they are paying for the service. Oh so goodness. it's not that he has a oh, shy, shy. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who pays for that service? This one is the, the ladies, the surplus ladies. Of course. Oh, my goodness, so ladies, take when the other girl is at work, oh someone is paying for the service. Remember, this so is the man. man is just remember the guy is living on allowance at school, so someone is bringing some additional in source of income. But that simply means that the man has to yield to and that extra money. Oh so maybe when you come back, he can buy you a small gift. Oh, my goodness, so ladies, please, as we are soon going to end this video. My dear girls, my beautiful ladies, please, hope you've had this idea. I think there are so many men out there with the same idea. Yeah, I think they are. They are out there with the same idea as his. Mm -hmm. So please take care. I've seen so many girls crying, like seriously no, crying. Look, but look, this is another thing. You need to take care. Look, this is another if you can get to you, make money, let me, make let me money, first go cut you short. Let me first cut mm -hmm. you short. Yes, you are, you are saying that the man is acting unfair. But this is the same thing. As you mentioned, much of the students are coming here when they are totally innocent, they are students. Unlike ladies who are coming here when, when they have left the responsibility back home. Not they all, have husbands. Not, not all. They are single mothers. No. Meaning, as in they are entering into relationships and love affairs, they are also doing exactly the same. Remember, what you sow is what you harvest. You've left your man back home with no, your no, no, kids, no, no, no. So don't... and here you've come, you are, this, we are tampering with someone's son at school. Oh, excuse me, <laughs> so... don't put all this blame on ladies. It's not that all men are here, it's all students are young boys or Even what? if it's not your younger boys, also, by you know, most of them they are married. By you know, they are married is a student. Men, some back at home. And not all girls here that are ladies with kids and families, with husbands. Believe no, me, majority of them it. have husbands at home, have families at home, they have the kids. And doing this so entering to have affair here, they are obviously cheating. Oh my they are God. obvious acting sure. unfair to the responsibility. So the they video is home. getting too long. I hope right. we are going to end the video here, but I think we'll come back with another video on the same line with this because I think we need to find a solution for this, right? We we'll need to find a solution. I think the best solution here is to stay focused. Why do you... No, we will come back with another video oh, maybe, the same line. Can, maybe you, you will have to summarize this. Them. I can simply summarize this. Mm. You can have a specific set targeting once you are entering into a relationship. Mm -hmm. Know the life situation you are in and try to, ex to anticipate mm -hmm. what situation is the other person you are entering into love with. Is he a student? How much is he earning? So you can set your expectations 
and the two, you can control yourself. Don't rush to produce a kid because someone is just there for you. Of course, when you're in love, you always speak good, but that's good sometimes doesn't really come from the heart. So even if you are hearing a, a thousand beautiful words, beautiful sentences being spoken by you, and just know the situation is not favoring producing, favoring entering into deep commitment, so control. If someone, if you really, you, you came here, you're not married, whatever, you, in your lifetime you expect to get someone and somebody has just bumped into mm -hmm. your life, try to give each other enough time. Don't just rush into sleeping together, producing kids. Just give each other, just have that outer romance. Don't allow okay. someone, don't unzip okay. yourself for that person. If you unzip and that's your interest, just control, don't produce kids. Let things of course, simple. you have years. Instead of producing kids and later mm -hmm. on tomorrow you'll cry. The tears will be so small and will be temporary when you don't have anything like a baby between you. But the tears will be permanent mm -hmm. if you have a kid together. The tears will be permanent. Okay. Because even in a 90 years old, you look at the son and remember the guy who did that. Oh my goodness. Remember. Oh my goodness. It is okay. a temporary time. You get good home, you'll have all the so, families. This is going Just to be the end. away from. This is going together. to be the end of oh, our video. Sleep for fun, but not to oh my commit. goodness, thank you if so you much. If you want to commit, thank don't go for uh, babies. Okay, okay, we do understand. Thank you so much for your good ideas. Hope my beautiful girls out there, you've picked out something from this conversation. And actually, this is a serious conversation and it's real. Whatever he mentioned about, I think there are so many other men out there with the same mindset like his. So you people, <laughs> so you, you girls, you need to be very careful as you're dating or as you're making your courtship and whatsoever with men here in Cairo. I don't, I think it's it's the same with all men, whether Even Nigerians men or to be, Men have to be much more careful. Okay, yeah. so guys. That's the end of our video. Hope you enjoyed that video like I did. I really enjoyed that video. Just don't forget, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. We're coming with more amazing videos. As I told you, everything is found here. Fun videos, educative videos, tour videos, lifestyle videos, everything you find on Kemir channel. So just Turn on the notification bell and subscribe. Share with your friends, especially if you're in Cairo or if you're willing to relocate or come to work in Egypt. Know this: you should watch this video before you come to Egypt. So be aware of this, so you don't fall into all this shit that so many girls are falling into. But thank you so much for coming along with us. Yeah, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Thank you for the love and support. I love you. May God be with you. Bye-bye.